We've all heard about Botox. It can melt away those wrinkles and fine lines around your face. But is it also a cure for depression? I'm Dr. Michael Chua, a board certified ophthalmologist with Puente Hills Eye Care. And in this video, I'll explain why I've been recently convinced that Botox is a legitimately effective treatment option for depression. Over the last year, there have been a flurry of research studies touting the beneficial effects of facial Botox injections on depression. Before we start looking at these studies though, let's first review some of the theories of why Botox can be such an effective treatment for depression. Recent research has shown that there's a feedback loop between our facial expression and the mood centers in our brain. The glabella region located in between our eyebrows are the primary mediators of frowning and scowling, and they play a key role in facial expression of negative emotions like anger, fear, or sadness. Studies have found that the activation of these glabellar muscles, the corrugator and procerus muscles, can stimulate mechanical receptors in our face, which communicate with a series of neurons and ultimately the amygdala in our brain. The amygdala is a structure in our brain that is typically associated with negative emotions such as sadness, fear, and anxiety. Several MRI-based clinical studies have shown that patients with depression and anxiety have overactive amygdalas. So there's this vicious cycle that is negative emotions cause us to frown and scowl, which in turn activate the negative mood centers in our brain, leading to more sadness and frowning. The thought behind Botox treatment is that it can interrupt this feedback loop. By using Botox to paralyze frowning muscles, it becomes physically impossible to frown. Since patients aren't frowning, this hopefully causes less activation of the amygdala and therefore less feelings of sadness and anxiety and a more positive mood instead. And this theory has been backed up by multiple scientific studies. One study found that patients who received Botox injections in the glabellar region had decreased activation in their amygdalas on subsequent functional MRI scans of their brains. The cosmetic benefits of Botox are also a cherry on top and can definitely have a positive effect on a patient's self-esteem too. Okay, now that we understand the rationale behind the use of Botox to treat depression, let's look at some of these studies and dig into the data and see what evidence is out there. This study, which is a review published in 2022 in the journal Toxins, looked at all the prior double-blinded randomized control trials of Botox and the treatment of depression. Now, randomized control trials are the gold standard for clinical research because their study design minimizes the potential for bias. Basically, in a double-blinded randomized control trial, research subjects are randomly assigned to either a treatment group and a comparison group and neither the researchers or the research subjects know which group they're in. So in these Botox studies, they took research subjects and had each person complete a standardized depression questionnaire so that researchers could measure the baseline depression severity score for each subject. Then the researchers randomly assigned patients to either the Botox treatment group or in the control group. Patients in the treatment group received about 30 to 40 units of Botox injections to the glabella region while patients in the control group received injections of saline or basically salt water. After six weeks, they repeated the depression questionnaires and measured each subject's depression severity. After tallying all the studies up, the researchers found that patients who received glabellar Botox injections reported significantly less depression symptoms compared to patients who received just the saline. Let's take a closer look at one of these studies so we can see exactly how much of an effect Botox had on patient mood and depression. In this study from the Journal of Psychiatric Research, investigators took a group of 30 patients with a clinical diagnosis of depression. The research subjects all completed the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale, which is a 17-question questionnaire to measure the severity of patient depression. The questions assessed symptoms such as sadness, difficulty sleeping, or anxiety. The usual cutoff points for scoring the questionnaire are scores of 0 to 7 are rated as normal, Scores of 8 to 13 are considered mild depression, 14 to 18 moderate depression, 19 to 22 severe depression, and scores greater than 23 were considered to be very severe depression. So in this study, patients were randomized to either receive Botox or saline injections to the glabellar region of their faces. Prior to treatment, all the subjects completed the Hamilton Depression Scale. The average score for the Botox treatment group before treatment was 21.4, and the average score for the saline or control group was 18.7. As expected, subjects who received Botox had significant difficulty in their ability to frown, while those in the placebo group had normal facial expression. After six weeks, the research subjects retook the depression questionnaire. 
the average score for the Botox group six weeks after treatment was 11.3 or 47.1% reduction in depression severity, while the average score for the control group was 17 or 9.2% reduction. The patients who received glabellar Botox had significantly reduced depression symptoms after treatment compared to the patients who received saline injections alone. And fortunately, these results were not a one-off finding. Several studies over the last year have also reached similar conclusions with an impressive reproducible effect of Botox improving patients' depression. So what does this all mean for clinical practice? I think these studies support Botox as a great option as an adjunctive treatment for depression. That is, it can be a helpful supplement in addition to primary therapy provided by an internist or psychiatrist. The primary treatment options for depression should still be either psychotherapy or treatment with an antidepressant medication or a combination of the two. But one thing to keep in mind with antidepressant medications is that they affect the neurotransmitters in our brain and our whole body. So systemic side effects are a common concern. Patients starting antidepressants can oftentimes have nausea, weight gain, fatigue, GI upset, dizziness, agitation, and even sexual side effects. One of the benefits of Botox treatment is that there are very few, if any, serious systemic side effects of treatment. I mean, yes, there's a risk of headache, small risk of infection, and you can have local bruising at the injection site. And if the injections are done incorrectly, patients can temporarily have a dropped eyebrow, but there are relatively few systemic side effects to be concerned about. Given the consistency and reproducibility of previous studies on glabellar Botox and improved mood, I'm convinced that patients who receive glabellar Botox for cosmetic purposes likely also enjoy an added bonus of a more positive mood. Botox in that part of your face is basically a medically induced facial relaxation technique to prevent negative emotional states through the frown amygdala feedback loop. I'm looking forward to seeing what future research will reveal on this topic. Okay, I think that's enough information for this video. But if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. We offer eyelid plastic surgery, Botox consultations and treatment, as well as full medical and surgical treatment of eye diseases. See you next time.